Hi, I'm John and welcome to Learn About Xero. Today we're taking a look at Xero projects. I'll show you what it is, how it works, and how it can help your business. By the end of the video, you'll know if Xero projects is a good fit for your business. Let's take a look. Xero Projects is an add-on inside Xero. It helps you track the money you spend and receive on projects or jobs. It's a simple way to see if a job is profitable. You can track time, expenses and income for each job. Then you can compare costs against what you invoice your client. It's designed for small businesses that work on client jobs like consultants, tradespeople or service-based businesses. If you don't have Xero Projects, you can find out about it here. From the Organization menu, click Do More with Xero and Projects. If you've added it to your subscription already, you'll see it here in the main navigation menu. For today, I'm using the Xero Demo Company, which includes Xero Projects. You can also give it a test drive in the demo company to see if it works for you and your business. Okay, let's start off from all projects. Now, Xero's demo company has got a few projects um, already set up as examples, so you can have a look at those. Let's jump into one for a quick look. You can see on this project, there are five tasks set up and Three of them have got time entries recorded against them. And then at the top, we've got some useful blocks. We can see the project estimate, what's been invoiced to the client so far, the total time and costs added to the project, what's still to be invoiced. So we haven't invoiced anything, so all the time and expenses are yet to be invoiced. And you can see there's a deadline. So that's what a project looks like in progress. Let's go back to all projects. We will set up a new project. But before I set up a new project, I'm going to add my staff cost rates. Click the three dots and project settings. So these cost rates are the cost to your business of employing those staff. So the cost of the business of employing me is $75 per hour. So back in all projects, we'll create a brand new project. Click new project. And when you create a new project, you can put it into a draft or in progress state. So if you're not gonna start work on it for a while, uh, put it into a draft state. Here, we're gonna start work on it straight away. We'll make it in progress. The contact here is Bayside Club. We're going to be doing some garden design work. So that's the name of my project. And we need to get this project finished by the middle of December. Enter an estimate. You can base that off tasks and expenses that you add to the project or you can just enter an amount. So I've already agreed with the customer, we'll be charging 8,000 for this project. And then choose who you want to give access to this project. I'll leave this as anybody with access to Xero projects and create. And great, here's our new project. Let's add a couple of tasks. The first task is for some design work. And I think this is going to take around 10 hours. Choose how you want to charge for this task. So you can use an hourly rate, a fixed price, or you can even set up non-chargeable tasks. Here I'll use my hourly rate of $150. So that's what I charge my customers. Let's save that task and add another one. And I'll create a task for labor. And I think this will take me 12 hours. And save. Okay, we've now got a couple of tasks on the project and you can see um, how much time we think each task will take. 
You can add expenses to the project. You'll see a couple of buttons at the bottom. You can add a simple expense or you can assign bills. So if you've recorded bills inside Xero, you can allocate those costs directly to a project. But for this video, we're going to keep it nice and simple. I'm just going to simply add an expense. I can click the button at the bottom or add and expense. Let's say we've purchased some materials. They cost 3250. Now I could choose a markup to charge the customer a bit more than cost, but I'm going to leave it at cost here and save. And you can see materials have been added as a cost at the bottom of that project. And at the top, the total time and expenses so far is 3250. Now, as you start working on the project, you can record your time. There are a couple of different ways to do this. There's a timer, or you can just add a time entry. So again, we're going to keep things simple here. I'll add a time entry. Now record your time against individual tasks. So here I've spent a bit of work designing the task. I actually spent 10 and a quarter hours. Now enter a description it can be handy. Enter your time as a duration or start and end. I'll enter 10 and a quarter hours and save. And you can see we've now got a time entry recorded against the design work task. Let's add another time entry. I'll do it from the three dots here, add time. Now this took me uh, 11 and three quarter hours. So these buttons can be really handy, a quick way of adding in your time entries and save. And great, you can see we've got some time entries against those tasks. If you look really carefully at the design work one, it's gone into a bit of red. That's because we've actually spent more time than we estimated for that design work. Let's say we've finished the project now. It's time to invoice the customer. We can invoice directly from this project. Click invoice. You can invoice a deposit amount. That's useful if you want to invoice something up front, maybe a 25% deposit, something like that. You can invoice based off tasks and expenses on the project. Or you can invoice the project amount. That's what we're going to do here. Now we're going to be invoicing 8,000. That's what we've already agreed, but I could change that and choose a custom amount. And once we've invoiced this project, you can choose to mark all items on that project as invoiced and you can close the project. That's what I'll do here. Let's open the invoice. And here's our draft invoice to Bayside Club. Already got a lot of information entered in here. We just need a due date. Let's say plus 21. We'll allocate this to my sales. So the invoice is going to be for 8,000 plus sales tax. Let's approve that invoice. We can approve and email it here. I'm just going to click approve. And we can see that invoice is now approved and it's awaiting payment. So really easy to record your time on a project, then invoice your client directly. Let's see if we've made any money on this project. We'll go back to projects. On the right, you'll see reports. We've got a few different reports that you can run. Let's open up project financials. Choose the statuses you want to show. So we know that the garden design work is closed. So I'll just show any closed projects. Choose the date range, choose which columns you want to show in the report, and choose how you want to group the projects.
And here's the garden design project, so we can see the total estimated charge, the total cost amount, the total invoiced amount, and what profit we've made. Let's go back to the project. It's in our Close tab, so we can see that project has been closed. If I click into it, uh, we've got another tab, or some more tabs up at the top. So you can see all your tasks and expenses on that project. You can see your time entries on that project, and each time entry has been invoiced. You can see any quotes and invoices against that project. So you can see there's an invoice at the bottom. It hasn't been paid yet and you can see the profitability on that project. And you can go straight to reports from here as well. So if this video was useful, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments, are you using projects already or are you going to start using projects? Do check it out in the demo company. You can give it a test drive before you use it. Thanks for watching.